Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. Every week of footy so far has brought us a 99 rated card. Today we asked the question, who's it going to be this week with footy's team number four coming into packs? I've narrowed it down to just a select few of cards that might be getting a 99 rated item today. But for all of us that don't have that many coins, we'll talk about all the other content that's coming as well. SBC, some cover star icons we've been getting those every single friday we've got multiple of them that are leaked and some already confirmed by ea in this game so if you're excited for footies week four drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and let's get into it first of all yesterday's content this won't take long because there wasn't a lot going on yesterday we had a ibrahim sangari premium footies sbc the best part about this is you should do it because it's at the very least a 30,000 coin 93 rated card, which is really good fodder at the very least. And if you have an Eredivisie team, you need those links. That's a solid card for that as well. Marquee matchups also dropped yesterday once again, which of course is needed for XP under the challenges section, which is still sometimes I have to look for marquee matchups now more than I used to because that challenges section is literally just marquee matchups and a random daily challenge SBC. I still am trying to understand all of the reasoning behind this update of the SBC section and how they organize things. Anyways, check your clubs. Some Liverpool players are going for very expensive prices once again because EA have included Liverpool in marquee matchups for the second week in a row. And then, of course, also right now, big news around the beta. If you guys got a beta code, if you're playing it, a lot of people are talking about that. Once again, I'll remind you, play the game, have fun, try it out. Um, there's a big emphasis on that right now. There's a lot of news and stuff on Twitter. People are posting stuff. Technically, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to show stuff that is in the beta. You're just supposed to provide feedback through the beta forums and the link that they gave you in that email. But there's a lot of news on Twitter. Really can't talk about it on the video. Don't want to bring a lot of attention to that um, just because that is technically against the rules. So that's kind of what's going on there. But enjoy the beta. I've been playing it a little bit. Uh, it's just kind of fun to get a little bit of insight into the next game now speaking of insight into what is coming today on fifa 23 we've got new footies cards in packs of course and we've just finished off a week where we had a 99 rated neymar we had a lot of regular footies cards in this past week if you take a look at the team team three it's going out of packs today we only had one premium ruben neves the rest of the team besides two heroes was all regular footies cards including the 99 rated neymar neymar now something that's going on right now is we're trying to figure out who's our 99 rated card going to be this week right you think about guys that are really really high rated erling holland killing mbappe maybe some of these heroes that haven't gotten footies cards yet could we see a footies hero um maybe like ginola or lucio i think that's very possible but if they're going to drop a ginola or a lucio would that be a 99 rated card i just don't know if they would make that big of an upgrade to a 92 ginola all the way to a 99 that seems pretty crazy the runner-up, or the favorite, not the runner-up, but the favorite, in my opinion today, for who could get a 99-rated card is this mad lad right here, Killian Mbappe. He's already got a 97 with a team of the season, team of the year, and the award winner's card, and it would just be very easy for EA to plop a 99-rated on Killian Mbappe, give him the 99 shooting, 90 passing, 90 physical, and just say, here is your 99 Mbappe, 5-star, five 5-star, five end game Mbappe card. Yes, it's probably going to be like 15 million coins or at least 12 mil plus, and maybe even extinct on the market, but that would probably be next up for a 99 rated version. Who else could we get, right? Maybe, uh, you know, a player like Jude Bellingham. I, I struggle to think that Erling Holland would get a 99 rated card today because his team of the year is in packs. And right now, um, Mbappe has nothing in packs at the moment, which makes it seem like a perfect fit for him to be the 99 rated card that would be coming out today. Now, of course, like we've seen the past couple of weeks, we're expecting six to seven footies players in packs, and that should include some heroes. So guys like the Lucio, guys like the Ginola, or other players that are heroes that have not gotten special cards recently, they are definitely up for some potential new versions today. So watch out for the leaks. Right now, we have no official leaks on cards that are going to be in packs, but we could have some more of those soon. Imagine a footies Peter Crouch, six foot seven, five star, five star. That would be a fun card. Who says no, right? I sure don't. So there could be some more of those cards coming today. There will be in packs. But what's not changing in packs today is footies batch number two. The team of the year cards like Messi, De Bruyne, Benzema, and all the fantasy foot cards, the foot birthdays, 
those guys are staying in packs once again, which is why we've been talking about it during this week. If you pack any of them tradable and you don't want to keep it for maybe your club or, or for sentimental reasons, I would sell the card. Messi's down to 1.2 million coins. I would not be surprised by the middle end of next week if he is under a million coins because he's just going to be in packs for a whole nother week. And there's some pretty big packs coming out that are guaranteed uh, footies batch two pack. So we'll talk about that a good bit as well. Now, the real hype for today really begins with these cards, guys, and it's the cover stars. Usually we have one of these, right? We had Roberto Carlos that was leaked. We had Ronaldinho that was leaked last week, but we have four, yes, four cover star icons that are not all coming today. We might have two of them today. The first one is Paul Skulls. Now, once again, from the very beginning, EA told us that these cards could be dropped in objectives or SBCs, and I feel like we might see our first objective cover star icon based on the quality of these players, not as big of names as Ronaldinho or Roberto Carlos, and maybe the ratings boosts aren't going to be as big either. But Paul Scholes is going to be coming as one of these cover star icons. I had no idea that he was on one of the FIFA 2001 covers, didn't play FIFA back then. Um, I was like five, so really didn't play FIFA or video games at all back then. So, um, you know, this is one of the cards coming today. I have to imagine it could be an SBC. It also could be an objective. So that's the first leak that we have. Thinking it might be an objective today. Who knows? But since it's leaked, could be coming out here very soon. Also, this is the more exciting one. Wayne Rooney coming as a cover star icon. It's been on the FIFA covers for many years. This is a card that a lot of people, just like Dino, just like Roberto Carlos, are going to pay whatever it takes to get this card in their ultimate team. Guys, this Rooney card is going to be super meta as well. As long as he's a decent price, this might be one of the most exciting parts of content today because Wayne Rooney has already had a pretty solid icon card that was dropped earlier on this year. Wayne Rooney's foot birthday icon card with five star skills, four star weak foot, high, high work rates. We're hoping that a Wayne Rooney today would be high 90 rated, right? 97 rated would be fantastic, but five star, five star on this Rooney. Can you imagine how overpowered that card will be? Striker, cam center forward on this foot birthday card. Boost up his dribbling a bit more. Boost up the, the pace, of course. Get into the middle, the high 90s. This could be a really, really cracked card, guys. And I would have to imagine that it would be our SBC today. That could be a big player SBC for a cover star icon player. And that will be an SBC that a lot of people would want to do. What would the cost be for an icon like this? Well, you can take a look at some of the other SBCs they've released recently, right? You think about footies cards um, and some of the cover star icons that we had. We have had a Roberto Carlos that was 800k. I just finished Ronaldinho yesterday, right? That was a four or five, almost six million coin SBC last week. I would have to imagine this Rooney might be similarly priced to where Hyun Min Sun or Kunde were at in terms of price. I would have to say four or five, six hundred thousand coins, somewhere around 500k for this Rooney card. Depends on how big of a stat boost, but they've been going all out for these cover star icons. So I hope they continue that with Rooney and with Paul Scholes today. But as you guys know, they don't boost the cards that get into objectives near as much as they do the cards that are maybe in SBCs or in packs. So that's one thing to really look forward to today. It's one of the biggest parts of content for sure. Now, the other two that are not released today, but they're going to be released later on, EA actually just told us about yesterday. As a part of yesterday's content as well, we had more X. P. Now, if you notice that Future Stars Kavicha is going up on the market, that is because people are going and buying his card, even though you get it for free. This happens every week now, right? People are going and buying his card so they can get the wins and score in 10 separate matches um, and get this play six along the way instead of just playing six, then getting the card to complete the rest of this. I feel like it's really easy to just play the six to get the card and then go on and complete the rest, but to each their own. If you have that card, I would probably sell it. It's up. It went from like 30K to like 140,000 coins. Crazy rise but back to the icons Jabi Alonso is going to be coming as a cover star icon on Saturday August 12th and the other icon is Chev Shenko coming on Tuesday August 15th so we have four cover star icons that are leaked right now we don't know the ratings for Jabi Alonso or Shevchenko we just know there's going to be icon SBCs for them and the loan versions we have to do for XP but we're going to get full versions of those for cover stars which mean again probably pretty juiced card ratings and a lot of excitement there we go from one cover star icon for the past two weeks to now having four coming out this entire week yes of course it seems what you would call in terms of the FIFA meta, like lower tier. How many people use Shevchenko, Jabi Alonso, you know, Rooney and 
Skulls, maybe not as many that use Roberto Carlos and Ronaldinho, apart from Rooney. Rooney's a big name icon, right? But that's a lot of icons that are incoming. There's going to be a lot of hype for that. Now, there should be some other content today as well. We're just rounding it up with all the content. We'll talk market at the end. We had some new pack code that was dropped just a few hours ago. And I think this is worth mentioning. Remember the 83 times 100 that we mentioned like every single day, wondering when and where it's going to drop? Now we have an 82 times 100. Still unsure when and where that's going to drop, but it's also coming alongside the 83 100 in that mystery. The Elite Sweeping Stars Pack, definitely a store pack that would be dropping today. The 89 times 10 footies re-release batch two. We had an SBC very similar to this last week and two weeks ago. Actually, it was last week with footies batch one. It was like an 87 times 10. I don't know if you guys remember that upgrade SBC. Basically the exact same thing, but for batch two coming today i would imagine that that's an sbc that would drop today or sometime this weekend i don't imagine it would be that worth it to do unless you're really trying to hit a team of the year messi team of the year militao or any of those top tier cards that are in the best of batch two i would rather patch footy, uh, pack footies cards right that's why i like the 87 plus player pick instead of the best of batch two player pick because yes you can pack best ofs in the 87 plus but you can also pack footies so that's why i like that one there but that new 89 times 10 is a pack that might come out as an SBC today or sometime this weekend. And the other pack in here that's interesting is a footies draft token pack. And this is interesting to me because not of its contents. Well, you do get five draft tokens. That is a lot of draft tokens. But I'm interested because whenever they add stuff like this to the code, it means there's probably going to be an objective coming to match. If they're going to give us a bunch of draft tokens, what are they going to want us to do? Complete draft objectives. I would be watching out for objectives today that would maybe tie into getting some XP through playing the foot draft mode. And uh, maybe it's in milestones. Maybe it's in the objectives tab. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so just watch out for that. I would have to imagine that might be coming out today or pretty soon. We may not have a cup this week. We didn't have a cup during week two of footies. They did a cup week one. They did a cup this last week of week three. Maybe it's kind of like an every other week for a cup. And in the other week off weeks, they do some draft stuff instead. So watch out for that today. Now with all of that content coming, what's going to happen on the market today. Well, as expected yesterday, marquee matchups. We're going to talk about fodder straight off the get-go, and we'll talk about some other things after that. Fodder is down bad, guys, because a lot of people are not doing as many SBCs because it just doesn't seem as hype right now in the game. Yeah, you got 85-10. Yeah, you've got a Dino grind, which, I mean, very happy to have Dino done. I know a lot of you guys are still working through that process. You still need fodder to get those done. But look at these prices, guys. 86s are back to 6,000 coins. That Laporte just had a bit of a spike. But a lot of these guys are in the low 6K range, which is a massive drop-off from where they were, even compared to last weekend. I mean, 6.5K last Monday, going all the way to 10K now back down to the 6,000 coin range. It's all going to depend on the SBC content that we get from now into the first or second day for first or second part of next week, right? Monday, Tuesday, it's going to depend on the content we get from now until then on if these cards are actually going to rise. Now I will say this. Wow, this is cheap. 91 rated or 20,000 coins. How much is the Ronaldinho SBC? It's got to be like the lowest price it's ever been. 4.7 mil, 4.6 mil. That price has been dropping off a lot. You can tell the fodder market is going down. Oh, it was 4.4 million earlier. Wow, what a drop on the Ronaldinho. And you look at the Roberto Carlos as well, 600K. That was an 800K SBC. But with fodder prices dropping a lot, so does the price of that SBC. Guys, I would watch SBC fodder today because still, even though we don't have a ton of great SBCs we think coming today, Rooney could be a lot of hype and it could be an SBC people want to go out and do right away. With that coming and with new footies players coming into packs, I think there'll be an extra demand today for 84 times, uh, sorry, the 84 times 10 goes away, but the 85 times 10, we can still do three times today. The 87 plus player pick, we can still do a couple times as well. The 8430 is still there for the taking today. There are SBCs people may want to do. I would think we would see a spike in SBC fodder at the content drop time. But then I would imagine if the content isn't anything super insane, anything more insane than just a Rooney SBC, you would probably see a lot of those fodder prices dipping back down. So maybe a spike at content and then dipping back down after that. We also have to talk about team of the week cards, guys, because as expected, once again, these cards are dropping off as well after yesterday's supply from division rivals and of course, marquee matchups. 
Wow, all Team of the Week cards were 23,000 coins yesterday. That was a crazy, crazy low point. And that's an 88 rated Team of the Week card for that Vela that we just looked at that was 23K. I think all Team of the Week cards now are right around 23 to 24. Um, and if you find high rated Team of the Weeks at this low of a price, like 23K for an 88 in form, like I would buy that with really, without even thinking. Because yes, still, there are a lot of SBCs that are out that require these Team of the Week or Team of the Season cards. And it really just gives you an opportunity to potentially invest in them today. But really what you're looking out for is good content. I would maybe wait to buy these um, until we see the content that has dropped today. Just like with the gold fodder that we just mentioned, some of these team of the week and team of the season prices could have some spikes today as well. And there could be some movement there. But I would rather see what the content is first and then think about going in instead of investing beforehand um, just because... Yeah, you never know how good the content's going to be. They might drop a Wayne Rooney SBC that has, you know, eight or nine or ten segments that has only one or two segments requiring a team of the season or a team of the week, or maybe five of those will require a team of the season or a team of the week. And if there's like five segments inside of Rooney that require a TOTS card, then guess what? Those prices are going to go up a considerable amount. So I would honestly just wait to see what the Rooney SBC requires today, if it's hype for the price, and if it requires a lot of team of the season cards or any specific ratings inside of that with a lot of higher tier or a lot of lower tier, that's probably where the fodder market's going to move and spike right around the content time the most. So we'll be looking at a late Friday night time or an early Saturday morning time as always though to maybe get back in if you missed the spike today on Friday or if you want to just invest for what's coming next week. We could maybe look into a time frame around then for some fodder investing as well. Last thing I want to cover is Footy's cards going out of packs. You may remember last week Footy's Messi was an example of a card that was really, really low but also really rare and a lot of people wanted to use him. He dropped yes, last week at content and then it ended up going up throughout the whole uh, rest of the next week. If we were to get an Mbappe today, I feel like a very similar situation could happen with Neymar. Neymar's 5.9 mil, he's under 6 million coins. That is down a very considerable amount for him. I could see him dropping down a little bit further today, but then I could also see him going back up. Maybe the same thing with Carvajal um, and with the Sancho as well. Sancho, of course, being English would maybe be a card you want to just keep an extra eye on today with Rooney dropping too. There could be some extra hype there. Now I will say, is Sancho still at his minimum price? Yeah, Sancho's minimum price is 300,000 coins. EA needs to update this price range because he's been at 300k since like Wednesday and uh, he should be cheaper than 300,000 coins. I don't know why EA has got his minimum price set up so high. So if we get a price range update there, keep an eye on that. But maybe watch out for some of your English links today. Um, there's not a ton of English links. I guess there's Joe Gomez as another recent footies card that has been dropped that is in packs. Um, but just kind of keep an eye on the footies cards that are in Team 2. I mean, Carvajal probably... Uh, maybe Captavia as well. A lot of your La Liga hype has happened. If we keep getting more La Liga players, those guys could go up. But usually as EA cycle through the different leagues and hype uh, nations that they put out, right? We had a lot of Brazil hype. We've had some Prem hype. And then this last week was a lot of La Liga. Uh, you know, Ansu Fati, we had Carvajal, we had Captavia. A lot of great La Liga SBCs, Lamar in the cup, right? Stuff like that. Um, maybe the La Liga hype is ending and maybe there's something new starting with footies week number four today. So hopefully EA, give us a surprise today, right? Drop us a really good Rooney card. Guys, if the content is not very good at all, if there is panic selling beforehand on any footies cards that are out of packs, remember last week what happened with like Griezmann and those other items. Griezmann was under a million coins like right before content last week. He ended going all the way back up to 1.2. What is he right now? What's it, Griezmann? Griezmann's 1.2. Yeah, 1.21. He's gone up 200K since last Friday, since the content was not very good. The same sort of thing could happen sort of today if the content's not very good as well on maybe those Team 3 cards that are just going out of pack. So keep a close eye on that today if you're still interested in those. And really, hopefully EA drop us a nice set of footies cards and packs that we all want to chase today through 8510s, upgrade packs and player picks, and all of that stuff. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Count. I'll see you guys in a Twitch stream today. Link is in the bio. Catch you guys there. Peace.